Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the High Gatsby Studio. We've been discussing Miss Georgia O'Keefe, and we saw how at first she had wiggly lines and shapes. She was one of the very first abstract artists, but then her artwork began to change. She began to draw flowers, but not just like a bouquet, a still life of flowers. She wanted to zoom in super close to the flower. Sometimes you couldn't even tell that the painting was of a flower. So, wait a minute. I just got an idea. Ooh, my executive producer isn't going to like this. Rhonda. Yes. I've got some flowers blooming outside and I thought it'd be great if I could take them out with me and let's look at some of these flowers up close. Maybe it will give them some inspiration on some things to draw. The only thing is we're going to need to take the camera, the mics and all this other stuff with us. Do you think you could help me with it? Of course. She said yes. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, we're coming outside. Now, it's pretty windy out here, so my hair is probably gonna get all wonky, but I still think we're gonna be able to find some really cool things that would remind us of Georgia O'Keeffe. Let's see here. Oh, come over here, let's check this out. Look at this and this. If she went way up close with that, that would be a cool, cool painting. Let's go see if we can find some more. Come on. All right. In my garden. Oh, this is a cool looking little flower. I wonder if she would think that is cool up close. That she would. These are called mandevillas. I love them because they're real hardy and it's hard for me to kill them. I'm always killing plants. But look at this flower. Look at that. An up close of that. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Look at this. This is where a big branch has been cut off. But look at all the rings and then where it's split. Can you imagine zooming in really close and just painting a picture that looks like that? I wonder if anybody would even know what that was. And then if you look at this bark, maybe if you zoomed in close on the bark, that would be another really, really great painting opportunity. Now that I'm slowing down, and I'm looking and I'm trying to think and look through the eyes of Georgia O'Keeffe, there are dozens of things just lying around that if we zoomed in real close, would make a very cool picture. That's what I wanna encourage you to do. Go outside, get some fresh air, and begin to look through the eyes as if you were Georgia O'Keeffe. What is something that if you painted it up close, nobody would know what it was? That would be cool. Have fun exploring, have fun drawing and painting. And if you think about it, you can just send us some of your ideas. I hope you have a great time with this. Remember to keep checking back in with us on YouTube and subscribe. And that way you'll know whenever we have new things coming up. And above all, I want you to stay safe and stay healthy.